He seems pretty quiet this morning. How did you persuade him to do his homework? Uh, we had a chat. And? He's a good kid. Yeah, I know he is. Well, I think he's upset about his grandma Mosey, that and his dad coming back. You can't blame him for acting out a bit. No, of course I don't. Look, bit of a fight at school, bit of back chat. It's not the end of the world, is it? Unless there's something you're not telling me. No, no, I just hate seeing him so miserable, that's all. Nick, you ain't got any equations? Uh, well, if it's maths, that's your mum's department. I'm just gonna get that wine. Let's have a look, then. I'll do it myself. No, let me help. Get out of my face. Did she sort it? I reckon I've worked it out. Good lad. He's gonna be fine. Morning, Dad. What? Nothing. Sit down, I'll make you a brew. When were these cupboards last cleaned out? They're disgusting. Um, uh, no idea. Do you know, I found a packet of rice. It said sell-by date February 2008. Yeah, well, your mother never liked to throw things out. Mm. After I've done this, I'm going to take Eccles for a walk and then pop to Fresh Goes. I'm going to bake us a cake for our tea. Cake? Yeah, I haven't baked a cake in years. Tracy. Look, I, I told you, Dad. I'm turning over a new leaf. Yeah, your mother'd be very proud, but you don't need to go overboard. <gasps> Me? Overboard? <laughs> and is Robert part of this new leaf? Uh, no. Oh. Well, that's my choice. No, Robert is an old leaf. I mean, there's no point waking up the past. Hmm. Listen, don't let what Sarah said get to you. No, I'm not. Hmm. You've been cleaning that same glass for five minutes. Like you said, it's probably nothing. Hmm. Thing is, I have noticed some odd looks between Dan and Leah. Really? Yeah. At first I thought I was just imagining it, but I just get the impression that they know each other. You asked him? Yeah, he said they didn't, but I'm not sure I believed him. Morning, gorgeous. Oh! <laughs> what are these in here, Geoff? Do I need a reason to give my girlfriend flowers? Oh. What can I get you? Uh, nothing. I'm on my way into town. Oh, look, I'm bringing in an important client around 5.30. I'd love to show you off to him. Oh, I'll put a good frock on. Great. <laughs> uh, is everything all right between you and Leanne? Well, you were there yesterday. It's all sorted as far as I'm concerned. You've not seen her since? No. Why? Nothing. Just wondered. Well, I haven't. So you can stop wondering. I'll see you later. I didn't imagine that, did I? Thanks. Um, I gave you 20 pounds. Uh, no, no, I don't think you did. I did. No, I'm certain you didn't. Oh, yeah, you did. Sorry. Sorry about that. You need to chill out. Well, it's a bit difficult at the moment. I think that's part of the problem, Simon. He can feel how tense you are. Oh, right, so it's my fault, is it? I didn't say that. Well, it sounds like it. L listen to yourself. You're wound up tighter than a tightly wound thing, and it's not helping. I need to go to Kyle's and pick up Sally. Okay. I'll do it. I'll take him to the red rag, have a kick about, get rid of some of that aggression. That'd be great, thanks. It'll be fine. What have you been saying to Liz? How many times? I haven't seen her. I don't believe you. Oh, believe what you like. Then how does she know about our little argument? I don't know, Dan. Maybe it's because you're not very subtle. If I find out you've told her... She'll find out you're scum soon enough. Just like Simon will find out his mother's an ex-prosy. I always keep my promises. Have a nice afternoon. again. You fancy being on the other side of the bar, did you? <laughs> yeah, something like that. Right, what can I get you? I need to ask you about Dan. Oh? Do you know each other? What makes you say that? <laughs> Leanne, I'm not stupid. I've seen the looks between you. And Sarah said she saw you both arguing. What's going on? Let me get you a drink. 
gonna need it. There's no easy way to say this. Well, go on then, just say it. Put me out of my misery. Dan's not who you think he is. What are you talking about? You actually know each other. Well, that's just the point, I do. I know him from before. When I was on the game. What, you mean you and him paired you to? When? Oh, it was years ago. And there were other girls. Lots of other girls. Oh, this just gets better and better. At least, look, I'm sorry. I'm not telling you this to upset you, but I need to warn you. What? That I'm going out with a sleazy curb crop? No. One time when I was with him, he got violent and he hit me. Oh, he apologised, said it'd never happen again. And, you know, it's not like it hadn't happened before. It comes with the job. But there was just something about him, the way he changed, it scared me. So I spoke to some of the other girls and a few of them had said that he did the same to them. So I decided that I'd never see him again, and I didn't, till he showed up here. Are you okay? Oh, Liz, I swear, I really didn't want to tell you this. Can I do anything? Yeah. You can bring the bottle over. You didn't tell me before. I, I've been seeing him for weeks. What were you trying to do? Protect my feelings? Oh, yours? No, I really wanted to. But Dan said if I told you about his past, he'd tell Simon about mine. Oh. So he's blackmailing you? Yeah. So what's changed? Well, he lost his temper yesterday and I realised he's not changed one bit. I didn't want you to go through that. I'm just really sorry you've had to find out like this. Oh, I'm not as sorry as he's gonna be when I see him. Believe me. Damn you, plead a blinder, mate. Put it there. <laughs> I love it when a play comes together. <laughs> it was called for a celebration. Uh, same again? Uh, no, no, no. My daughter's gonna be here in a minute. I'm taking her out for dinner. No worries. We'll have plenty of other opportunities. I'll just grab my case. Yeah. Oh, hi, sweetheart. All right. I, I don't think you've met uh, Ed. Uh, this is Liz, the love of my life. Liz, this is Ed, the boss. Pleased to meet you. You might feel a bit different in a minute. Is something wrong? Yeah. You are. You pig. <laughs> Wait, is this some kind of a joke? Not unless you think it's funny, beating up prostitutes. Well, do you? What's she talking about? I've no idea. Liar! Right, that's enough. Now pack it in. Oh, what? What are you going to do? Start hitting me now? What's going on? That's what I'd like to know. Uh, it, it, it's nothing. It's just a silly misunderstanding. Why are you asking my dad if he were going to hit you? I'm sorry, love. There's something you need to know about your dad. He batters women. Don't listen to her. Not just any women. But defenceless women, prostitutes, women he thinks they can knock about. Is this true? What's she saying? Uh, you know what? You don't have to answer that. Lucy, wait! I'll see you tomorrow. In my office. Why did you do that, you bitch? Hey, you! Watch your mouth! No, it's all right, Lloyd. I can handle him. As for you. You brought all of this on yourself. You! Now get out of my pub, get out of my life. I don't ever want to see you again. Liz. I... Get out! Hey. 
Hey, how is she? Oh, angry and hurt pretty much covers it. It was me thinking she'd actually found somebody half decent for a change. Ah, oh, there's some seriously messed up people out there, man. Some in here, Not like him, though. Well, I don't know. I mean, she's been married to a bank robber. Tony's had it off with Tracy and tried to stitch her up. Now, this nutter, I mean, she's going to end up with next. Ah, oh, I've no idea, mate. No idea. So, did you have a good time with Nick, then? Yeah, till you dragged us back here. Well, Nick's busy. You can't stay there all the time. You know how it is. Si, what are you doing? Getting something to eat. No, you've had enough junk food today. Eat something healthy. I don't want something healthy. Simon, I said no. Look, I don't want to have an argument about this. I've had a really long day. Well, get off my bike then. Oi! Don't speak to me like that. I'm your mother. You don't know, Mum. You're just someone who my dad slept with. You apologise right now. Make me. To talk? Oh, yeah, yeah. Size asleep. Sit down. Oh, and this is for you, by the way. <laughs> oh, right. Uh, what for? Just as a thank you for saving me from making a terrible mistake. So, have you had it out with him? He didn't hit you, did he? No. But I think he wanted to. Anyway, touch wood, that'll be the last we see of him. Well, I hope so. Because I can't get it out of my head what he said. What do you know about telling Si? Oh, I do think he'd do something like that. Would he? Come and have something to eat. Say, come on. I don't want you stuck in here all summer playing on that thing. Well, you grounded me. Yeah, well, consider yourself de-grounded or ungrounded, whatever. Come on, eat something. Hey, listen. You and me can have a ball this holidays. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, there's loads going on in Manchester. Look at that. Kayaking. Oh, it's fancy doing that. What, you? Why not me? You go bad if you get your hair wet. I do not. Yeah, well, I'll just have to get over myself, won't I? Swan about in one of them flowery swimming caps or something. <laughs> well, you're on your own. Listen, I'm going to have a word with Nick and book some time off. What do you reckon? Back on shelf, gathering dust. Oh, as if. Yeah, I just never thought I'd be single again so soon. Anyway, never mind. You win some, you lose some. Yeah, so they say. I just seem to lose every time. Yeah, me too. Have you heard from Tony? Not a word. Anyway, good riddance, so they say. But you know, Dan, it just seemed so lovely. I really thought I'd hit the jackpot there. Yeah, sorry. It's not your fault. You know, I've been looking over my shoulder ever since you left. Leanne, he looks dressed up to the eyeballs. Why don't you get away for a bit, take a break? Yeah, well, that's the plan. I'd love to spend a bit more time with Si. Oh, how's he doing? Well, he's just been through so much lately, hasn't he? Listen, if you ever need me to keep an eye on him, just ask. Oh, you don't have to say that. No, I know, I don't have to say it. But us women, we have to stick together, don't we? Come here. Much pressure on parents during the summer holidays. Tell me about it. And kids these days, they want to be entertained all the time. That or they want to be out there spending. Uh, museums are free. And art galleries. Every morning, come rain or shine, I'd be sitting astride my chopper. Thought that was a boy's bike. Well, my mum tried to persuade me to have a chipper, but I'd set my heart on a chopper. Tupperware box full of sandwiches and tuppence for a sugar mouse or an ice pop on that one. Yeah, things were a lot simpler back in the olden days. <laughs> right, I'm going to go and take Sai to the cinema and then we're going to go somewhere nice for tea. What, today? Yeah, yeah, it's pretty dead in here. You asked me to organise the interviews. Oh, chef. Exactly. And it's next day off, so... Well, I could try them out for you, if you like. Send one round every night to cook my tea. Nice try. Oh, great start to the summer holidays this is. Simon's going to love me. 
fell one day in and I'm already breaking my promises. Oh. Look, you know when you said earlier that you'd keep an eye on him? Oh, I meant it. Well, he's all right for the minute. He's busy, Dan, but would you mind popping in later? That's fine. Hey, I'll cook him a bit of tea if you like. Then I'll slaughter him on Xbox. Oh, thanks. Just while I'm doing the interview in. It's fine, honestly. Oh, I owe you one. <laughs> you know, it's funny how I'm thinking about you earlier. This guy comes in the Rovers, right, and he's giving me the eye and flirty and all that. So I'm standing there like this. <laughs> and I'm, like, daring him to come over and make a move on me. I thought, you do, and I'm going to wipe the floor with you. <laughs> I'm telling you, I've gone all bitter and twisted. Oh, no, you haven't. <sighs> We're a right pair, aren't we? The blokes we've had over the years. Mm, don't remind me. You know, I think one day I might run off and join the nunnery. Yeah? You know, ditch your heels. <laughs> wow. I'll have to think of something else, then. I'll try anything once, twice if I like it. Too cool for school? That's me. I won't get you them trainers. Nah, Carla. My grand bought me a pair of shoes once. Not trainers, actual shoes. Massive brown things they were. They look like a pair of pasties. <laughs> Nightmare. My nan knit me a jumper once. It had a penguin on the front. His head were all wonky. It had these weird stick on eyes. <laughs> they're a pain, aren't they? Family. But when they're not around. Who's not around anyway? Always working. Hey, someone's got to make the money. I'm sure she'd rather be with you. I argued all the time with my dad. I'd get so wound up. But now, it's obvious. None of that stuff mattered. I wish I'd been better too. For fifteen twelve, better luck next time. All right, all right. You like that three pointer though? Defo the shot of the game. <laughs> Cheers. So, do you want to play zombie attack squad then? Oh no, I've got to get off soon. I said I'd call in at the gym. Mum said she was working late. She must have sorted something out. Nice one. Hiya, love. Your mum's still at work, so I said I'd cook you a bit of tea. Right. I had a route through your freezer earlier, see what's what. All right, I'll get off then, mate. See you later. Later. See ya. Right then, turkey sticks or fish fingers? Ah! Oh, oh, watch here. You nearly got a zingy orange shower. Sorry, sorry, I was miles away. And you wear nice? Oh, I wish. Mm, me too. Apparently, if I sold both my retinas, I could afford to go to a beachside retreat in Bali. All oh, right. Yeah, I've just been uh, interviewing chefs. Last woman didn't even bother turning up. Don't suppose you know anyone here. How much are you paying? Why? Well, I made the most amazing cake the other day. Better than anything on Bake Off. Yeah, chefs trained for years better. Flute cake's not going to cut it. <laughs> Pleased with yourself, are you? You just couldn't keep your cob shut, could you? I've, I've lost my job because of you. My livelihood, everything I've built up over the years, gone. <laughs> my daughter won't talk to me. Uh, she, she can't even bring herself to look at me. My life, my life is wrecked. And it's all down to you. You honestly believe I'm going to let this go, huh? You think, right, you can just trash my life and, and just walk away? I'm talking to you! Oh, you think you're the big I am, don't you? Oh, well, you're not. You're drunk. And I'm not scared of you. <laughs> yes, you are. I can see it in your eyes. Oh, I like this one. Hey, might have to have a bit of a bop in a minute. <laughs> who is it? Molly Cyrus. Oh, yeah, I know. The one who sticks the tongue. Ah, ah, let's go, the police! Ah, Shut up! Ah, ah, ah. Stay where you are! <laughs> Dad, what are you doing? Shut up! 
Get away from the door! Now! No one is going anywhere. Does he hurt you? Dan. Dan, please, stop this before it goes any further. Shut up. Just get out and close the door behind you. No harm done. I said shut up. Give me your phone. Phone, now! <laughs> and you? I said give me your phone. Come here. Give me your phone. I haven't got one. You hear me? Get off it! Get off it! Ah! Right. Uh, if either of you step out of line again, he's the one that's going to pay. From now on, you do exactly as I say. Why are you doing this? You're not going to get away with it. You ruined my life. So now, I'm going to ruin yours. She needs to get to a hospital. At least let her sit down. Take a painkiller. Mm. If that wrist is broken, she needs to have it looked at. I'm not stupid. She should, she'd tell him it was me. No, she wouldn't. We don't have to tell anybody anything. Well, why would you cover for me? Huh? You, 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 you both hate my guts. No, we don't. We don't at all. We can just keep this between ourselves. Oh, come on. I, I, I know you dropped me in it with the police. Come on. I wouldn't. I understand why you're doing this. You're angry and I don't blame you. Dan, just give it up. Let us go and we can all just walk out of here. Please. Just get back out there. Get on with living your life. Yeah, right. My life is wrecked, thanks to her. I've got nothing left to lose. Now, you're gonna leave us here till the end of time. Not much of a plan, is it? Sit down. Sit down! It's not you, this. Terrorizing two women and a child. You're better than that. Okay, I know you've had problems in the past. But you can put all that behind you now. What... What exactly do you hope to gain from all this, Dan? Scare us. Teach us both a lesson. Oh, well, you've certainly done that. You were wonderful to me. Kind, considerate. I just saw the good in you. Sometimes it... You actually reminded me of my ex-husband. Oh, he had a terrible temper, did Jim? And if you riled him, you really knew about it. But underneath it all, he was just like you. A good man with a good heart. Best thing that's happened to me in years. But I, I, I wouldn't have laid a finger on you. You, you know that, don't you? I thought we had a future. Me too. Maybe we still could. You, you really think that you could forgive me for this? Oh, believe me, I've forgiven a lot worse. Listen, there's nothing I'd like more than to just 
us walk away from all this and just forget all of it. Well, I, I know you'd give me the benefit of the doubt, but, but she won't, will she? I will. I will. I want an end to this just as much as you do. Why don't you just let Leanne and Simon go? And then we can sort all this. Just the two of us. I'm not going to leave you on your own with him. No, no, I'll be fine. Me and Dan have got an understanding. Oh, nice try, Liz. You really think I'd fall for that? No, right, we, we, we did. We did have something special until you told her. You know, women like you, right, you, you're, you're, you're scum. You, you get everything you deserve. Oh, he hasn't changed. You don't know how. You should be behind bars where you can't hurt anybody. Hey, you. You leave him alone. Pin your luggles back, right? I've got something to tell you. Don't start on him. I'm warning you. You look like a smart boy, right? Do, do, you, do you know what... You shut your mouth! Do you know what a prostitute is? Do you? Well, you're looking at one. Lying, isn't he? Tell me he's making it up. Oh, I don't know, eh? <laughs> you think you know someone? Sai. Sai, talk to me, please. It's all in there. Inside his head. That's enough. All those images of his precious mother doing God knows what. God's sake, stop twisting the knife. Say, si, when you're older, you'll understand, I promise you. Things she's done for money, right? She sold herself, body and soul. Shut up! <laughs> How could you stoop so low? All right, that's it. You've got what you came for. You've got your revenge. You've done your worst. Now open the flaming door! Come on, I've just started to enjoy myself. This is what you do when you're not beating up women. Why ever go at him? I forgot what me is me you're angry with. I don't care what you do to me. Well, I know that. As long as I pay you enough. Go! <laughs> Get out! Poor kid. Couldn't wait to get away from you. Who is he? Police, please. And tell him to hurry up. Well, he's not done anything, has he? I think he's actually broken Leanne's wrist, but he's so angry, he's out of control. I'm terrified of what he's going to do next. Right, I'll put her on now. Here, yeah, they need to speak to you. Right. Hello? Uh, yeah, uh, his name is Daniel Jones. What about you, mate? Are you OK? Oh. Simon, yes, I, he's I gonna kill her. Actually, that's not gonna happen. Yes. He's mad. Well, the police are gonna be here any minute. He's already hurt. He could do anything to her. Please, just so do something. I'm going up there. Yeah. You're not gonna get away with this. Just listen. I, I, I wanted to hurt you. Jan! Well, you lay one finger on her, I swear! Look, wh whatever the plan was, whatever you wanted to do, it's over. Just just think about your daughter. Leave leave my daughter out of this. Oh, what, like you left my son out of it? Leon, talk to me! Look, it would be better for you if you better just... Better for me? Better for me? I've, I, I've lost my job, my daughter. You're a dad. You're a dad, she'll forgive you. Do you really want her to have to visit you in prison? Yeah, talk to me!
You sure you don't want me to go and get Steve? No, Chesney offered. No, Steve will just get himself into a state. Okay, if you're sure. I wonder what's keeping them. Excuse me, do you know what's going on in there? Oh, Leanne! Thank God. Did you get inside? I knew he was there. More importantly, so did he. He did great, thanks. Oh, Leanne. Listen, I'm really sorry that I didn't come up it's before. It's all right, Tess. You weren't to know. Are you sure you're all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Hey. Hey, how's your arm? Oh, well, that's five. Come here, love. Oh, I'm so sorry about everything. Can you just give me two minutes, please? Just when I thought this day couldn't get any worse. Please, I just want to know that you're all right. I heard some guy... Get away from me. Liz. Come one step closer and I swear... I just want to know that you're not hurt. Hurt? No. Sick to my stomach? Yeah. I don't want to see your face. I don't want to hear your voice. Liz. You and Simon to make a statement. You too, Mrs. McDonald. Oh. I'll be in touch again tomorrow. Good night. Thanks. Thank you, officer. I need a drink. You and me both. Actually, uh, I think we need to get you to the hospital. Let them take a look at that wrist. Uh, it'll be fine, Ken. Not a bit broken. Ken's right. Get your coats, though. I'm staying here. You can't. I'm not going. I can stay with you, Dan. Maybe that'll be for the best. <sighs> See, I'm sorry to ask. Uh, it's cool. Thanks. Poor kids had a hell of a day. Listen, don't you worry about the mess I'll get. I'll, look, I'll, I'll sort it. Are you sure? Yes. Cheers, love. I'll tell you what, I'll get Chesney to bring some food up. Are you OK? Yeah. Have you? Call if there's a problem. Yeah, sure, will do. Tell love. Believe well, he didn't ring me. Well, actually, I could say the same to you about Tony. I swear, my heart nearly jumped in my mouth. Sorry. Tell you what, Liz, you know how to pick him. Oh, well, thanks for that, Irene. And so, Leanne claims he's been violent before. Oh. You've had a lucky escape. Who knows what could have happened? Oh. I just can't believe I didn't see what it was really like. You would think that by now I would have developed a radar, especially after Tony. There's no way that you could have known. No. Well, most women seem to manage not getting involved with men like that. So what did he have to say? <sighs> you are kidding me. I don't want to cause any trouble. I just need to speak to Liz. Yeah, well, you're about two months too late. Get out. I'll go. Promise. But I want to explain what happened. I think we all know what happened, Tony. I said get out! <laughs> Liz, you need to hear this. Yeah, leave him. What? Yeah. I've played this over in my head. Again and again. Maybe I do need to hear this. If you felt like helping out, I wouldn't, you know, stop you. Anyone would have been scared if that I wasn't could... scared. If 
you say so. But you do know none of what happened was your fault. I know. All your mums. She's been through a lot, right? Hey, show some respect. Why should I? Oh, you all right? What do you say? Hi, it's just badly bruised. Yeah. Better safe than sorry. Yeah. I uh, put all the broken stuff in a bin liner outside. Oh, thanks, E. Anyway, I better be getting off. Yeah, thanks, and thanks for staying. All right. See you a bit, little man. See you. Bye. Bye. Look, uh, everything will be fine. The police have taken him away and he won't be coming back, okay? Right, well, I'll leave you in peace. I think you could both do with a bit of a rest. I'll make us a brew. Maybe we should have some tea. You've had a shot, Leanne. You both have. You need to take it easy. I'll see you tomorrow. Um, we could take Eccles to the Red Rock if you feel up to it. Okay, good night. Bye, Kev. I admit, I was stupid, but I was lost. Tracy was pulling all the strings and like a fool, I did what- Nobody made you have an affair. Don't you think I see how ridiculous it was? No, I'll tell you what was ridiculous. The way you made me feel. Because you weren't worth it. You were a cheat and a liar. You are a cheat and a liar. You don't think I'm ashamed of what I did? I know you're not going to believe me, but I never stopped loving you. You truly are. Unbelievable. Not only do you have an affair behind my back, but you try and rob me of my home and my livelihood. That is no kind of love that I can recognise. I'll tell you what love is, shall I? Love is agreeing to give up everything and go off to Spain with you. Love is believing every single word that came out of your mouth I when know. all you were doing was telling me a pack of lies about men after you and about how you wanted us to make a life together. Hey, we can still have that. Oh, you arrogant. I despise you. Don't you get that? How you could ever think... That Why do you think so that Tracy told you about us? It was because I knocked it all on the head and knew that it was you I wanted. No! You wanted you and that bitch behind my bar! And you and that bitch in my bed! And you did not knock it on the head. She did! Not that it matters. Just... Go on, get out! I'm still a partner, remember? Then sell up. I can't do that, I don't want to. Well, for once in your life, do the decent thing. Just get out of here and stay out of my life. I'm not giving up. Don't you touch me! Ugh. Well, it's... This, this is me, please. This is me, this is us. There is no us. No, because you killed it. Everything that we had. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Safe getting out of my sight. Go on, you heard her. Sai, can you come out here, please? Come sit down.
about what he said. About me. What about it? Being a parent, it's a really big job. And part of that job is to keep his, is to keep your children safe and stop them making mistakes. When I was growing up, I didn't have that sort of guidance, I suppose you'd call it. So I made probably more mistakes than most in being one of them. What he did was wrong, Si. That's why the police came. And the things he said about me, I'm just so sorry. What? Because he told the truth. It's not what parents say we should do. No. Because you shouldn't have had to hear it. Say si, I'm your mum, Anna. You're not my mum, you're a dirty prostitute. Say. Si. So say he's lying then. You can't. Say. so much better, you know. I know. I know. So what did he have to say? No. Oh, nothing worth listening to. Right, who's behind the bar? It's just Michelle. I reckon she could do with and. Sort myself out. No, honestly, it's fine. I'd, I'd rather get it out of the way. Thanks. Bye. Sai, that was the police. We need to go in later and make a formal statement. OK. Well, listen, I'm not going to be able to sit with you. OK. But there will be a social worker, so you don't need to be scared. I'm not. Listen, Sai, I, I don't think you should go to football today. We had a really late night last night. It's the minibus. Sai. Sai, we need to talk about this. Simon! How did it go? Really well. No problems then? None whatsoever. Your son's a very impressive young man. Thank you. I'm really proud of you. I just told him the truth. The worst is behind you. Hi, what do you want for tea? I'm not bothered. Or well, maybe we could order a pizza. I said I'm not bothered. Simon. What? I've already been questioned once today. Please. Listen, I know that it must have been hard for you reliving everything that happened last night. I just told him what happened. Yeah, but even so, there's still a lot to take on. Especially with everything else recently. Why are you telling me this? Because I want you to know that it's natural to feel 
angry and confused. Anyone in your shoes would. But lashing out isn't the answer. What you did really hurt me. And I'm not just talking physically. Just tell me you know that it was wrong. Because we can't get past this unless we talk about it. Sai. Sai, please, we need to talk about it. Is that straight? Yeah, it looks all right. Maybe it's something I could interest you in. What, hanging posters? The under-15s football team. How old do you think I am? As their coach. Now, I know you're busy at the gym, but maybe this would be good for you. Get you out of yourself more. Do you think I'm up to it? Definitely. And this could be your left back. You are? Yes, I. New football team. Do you reckon you're good enough? Might be too good. Mm-hmm. A Maradona in the making. Yeah, well, we better make sure you behave yourself first. But you've been misbehaving, mate. No. No, no, I just mean, you know, making sure everything's going okay at school first. <laughs> right, come on, Sai. See ya. Bye. See ya. In a bit, lad. And keep practicing. <laughs> what are you doing here? Well, judging by this get-up, I'm not here to sluice the cars he's out, am I? What's your name? Robert. Guess you're Nick, the grumpy boss. You're the bloke who complained about the food that time. Is there a problem, Nick? Problem? In your absence yesterday, I've hired Robert. He's a very talented chef. He used to work at Preston's Grill in Alderley Edge. Now, if you want him to walk, I'll be walking with him. <laughs> no, I don't want anyone to walk. I'm happy to walk. Oh, just wind your neck in, mate. You might have flirted with this one to get the gig, but as far as I'm concerned, you're still on trial. Of course, whatever you say, boss. Two things. Oh. Actually, three. One, don't roll your eyes at me. Two, he didn't float with me. And three, get over yourself. I'm going out for a bit. Not Beckers? I don't know what's wrong with me. You're grieving. It's half the reason I wanted us to have lunch. The busier I am, the easier it is. Oh, well, I'm busy, all right, working. Well, I'm glad to hear that, I really am. Everything okay with your meals? Fine. The tagliolini is particularly nice. Oh, yeah, it's gorgeous, isn't it? I had some of that earlier on. I think our new chef's working out quite well. Ah, oh, you have a new chef. Well, that explains everything. You loved your starter, didn't you, Tracy? Why, what, do you have the prawns? Well, do pass on our compliments to the chef. I certainly will. Oh, Nick, Ken and Tracy are really loving the food. Leanne's very taken with the chef. Why not bring him out so you can meet him, then you can congratulate him personally? That will be wonderful. What do you think this is, the Ritz? Wait till you see him, Tracy. He's a bit fit. Do I look desperate? I mean, what is this place now? A dating agency? No, I'm sorry about this. What's Leanne on? I mean, since when did the chef do a meet and greet? He's come from quite a well-to-do place. Excellent. Ken, Tracy, meet Robert, our new chef. Well, Look, never mind my dad. You've got some explaining to do. Oh, hi, are you Robert? Yeah. Uh, Steph, waitress, nice to meet you. And you, yeah. Look, Tracy, I am so sorry. Right, it, it's over with Johnny. I've moved out and, well, I needed a job. Right on my doorstep. This isn't work, this is stalking. I'm a really nice stalker, though. Mm. I'll, I'll keep my distance if that's what you want. Do you know what I want? Actually, it's just to finish my lunch in peace. This is me, then, backing away. The tagliolini was wonderful, by the way. Why you try my cannelloni? Still backing away. I tied it up. Yeah, I can see that. Trying my best, Mum. Well, you know what? What? I could get used to this. No way. What's for tea? Well, we've got a proper little treat for you. We had a new chef starting in bistro today and he's made us his pasta thing. Just need to eat it up in microwave. Excellent. Should I make us a brew? Or would you like a glass of wine? Uh, do you know what? I think a glass of white wine would go nice with this pasta. Nice, isn't it? Yeah. I told you he was good. He's a lot better than me. Still, that doesn't take much, does it? You sure it's not too rich? No, it's nice. 
listen, Si, I can see you've been trying to make the effort recently, so I think it's only fair that I'll let you play for the footy team at the community centre. Yes, back of the net. And then maybe we can... Well, we can draw a line under... You know. What? The last few months. What did you bring that up for? What do you like? Hi. I already said I'm sorry. Grand thought we should get it framed because it was such a good one. Aw, that's really thoughtful. Thank you. Oh, morning to you and all. What, am I invisible? Hi. Do you know what, Z? You spent most of the summer sat on that sofa like a zombie, killing other zombies. They're not zombies, they're vampires. You should be out in the fresh air, mate. Fresh air is so overrated. Why don't you come to the footy session I'm doing later on in the Red Wreck? Oh, yeah, good try, Sadan, but you won't get him shifted off that sofa. How do you know I don't want to go? Well, then, vampires won't kill themselves, will they? What time? Midday, sharp. Right, I better go clean my boots, then. Actually, no, I better not polish them too hard. They might fall apart that old. And that, my friend, is what you call teamwork. Nice one. Right. Sai, why didn't you answer the door? Never rang. Uh, yes, it did. The postman's just been. He's left a card. Yes, he never answered the door to strangers. Oh, you just couldn't be bothered to tear yourself away from that video game. Right, he's kindly said that he's going to come back after his round, so you'll have to wait in for it. I've got football. Oh, come on, Sai. I can't do it all. I can't work and look after you. I don't ask you to do anything for me. <laughs> all right, so you're going to wash your own clothes, are you? Cook your own food, check your own homework? Oh, it suits me. Anyway, I've got to go. Uh, you're going nowhere. You can wait in for this package. Well, so I've got to miss football just to wait in for your stupid package. Well, for your information, it's your stupid package. It's them football boots you've been banging on about for months. So you can stay in and wait for it and you can go to football tomorrow. I'm going now. Uh, you can do as you're told for once Get in a while. Get off me! Oh, you've done! <sighs> Simon. I'm going to be late for work now. Simon, get out of here now. Open this door. Right, fine. Stay there all day if you want. Uh, Steph, that's three gin and tonics, please. What, they've got further Prosecco already? Yeah, before they've even looked at the menus. Oh, I saw um, Sophie earlier. She mentioned something about doing a memorial or something for Maddie. I was just wondering if we could do anything to help. Yeah, yeah, that's a really nice idea. Uh, yeah, I'll have a word with Nick. Cheers. Right, have you decided? Yeah, I'll just have the chicken Caesar salad. No worries. Leanne. Given them the wrong menus. They're the weekend ones. Oh, well, is that a problem? Only well, insofar as I've none of that food in. Oh, yeah. Uh, really sorry. There's been a bit of a mix up with the menus. Never mind the food, just please tell us this fellow's our entertainment. <laughs> Chef, oh, Ooh. even better. Means you get a decent breakfast in the morning. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, folks, I need to get back to the kitchen. Really, really sorry about that. Could you uh, just pass these along and have a look at these menus? Sorry. All right. Oh, hiya. Oh, listen, I'm, uh, sorry, so I didn't make it to football. We had a bit of a row. What? He was there. Hey? Oh, well, well, where is he now? Went off with his mates. I think he was heading into town. <sighs> Simon, phone me when you get this message. You're in so much trouble. <sighs> I don't know what's going on with him anymore. I'm sure he's fine. He was with a load of his mates from school. Yeah, well, that's not the point, is it? I told him that he wasn't to go. <sighs> oh, your leg's bleeding. My own stupid fault. I'm too busy shouting at Simon to look what I was doing and I bashed my leg on the dishwasher door. Ouch. You want to get that checked out, you know? No, I'll be fine. It looks a lot worse than it is. Yeah, so to you, it should be OK. I'm more concerned about Simon, to be honest. Going off like this behind my back, it's just not like him. Do you want me to go and look for him? Oh, this is him now. Just at footy with the lads. Back later. No kiss. Cheers. Sigh. What do you want to do? Oh, search me. It's some holidays, isn't it? 
I'd go marching down the arcade or wherever he is and drag him back by his ear. I need to get back to work. Yeah, yeah, me too. He just wants to chill out with his mates, that's all. Yeah, see you later. Will you stop worrying about Simon? He'll come back when he's hungry. Kids always do. I just need to know where he is. Oh, he's probably doing what we all did at that age. Oh, yeah. Hanging about the precinct, doing a bit of light shoplifting, trying to get off with all the boys. You know what I mean. You're not helping, you know. It's the summer holidays. Give the lad a bit of freedom. How's your Amy been recently? Yeah, she's uh, tough as old boots are, Amy. Mm, wonder where she gets that from. Oi, kids are resilient. At least our Amy is. Thank God. Madam, your chicken Caesar salad. May I point out the dressing is made from scratch and the croutons are... It's a chicken salad. Get over yourself. Bon appétit, I guess. Oh, I wish I could speak to him like that. We were just saying how nice the food is. Oh. Well, Defo will be coming again. Do you hear that, Leanne? Got a couple of fans over here. Uh, I think he's got a couple of fans over there. Try me asking, are you straight? Ah, uh, last time I checked, yeah. <laughs> we had a little bet on. And are you single? Uh, technically, yes. But uh, my heart belongs to another. Oh, lucky another. Blimey, I didn't realise he was so romantic. Oi, chef. Everything okay with the food? Well, perhaps I haven't made myself clear. I'm not interested in you, and I never will be, so you just need to leave me alone, okay? Love, you're welcome to him. You better go after her again. What's the point? She's still not paid. You see Maria tonight? No. What's wrong? <sighs> Nothing, she's just acting a bit weird, that's all. Weird? Yeah, like dead cagey. Said she had this session at the gym after work and I see her going off into town. Luke, you don't say... <gasps> her plans might have changed. Uh, 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 uh. She said she had to pick up some stuff for Liam, but that's just the way she said it. Mm. All twitchy, staring at her feet, biting her lip. All right, take the mic as much as you like. Oh, give over. You're in love, that's all. <laughs> I'm heck. You are, and the signs are all there. The worry, the jealousy, the suspicion. You make it sound like so much fun. It's a good bit still. <sighs> right, thanks, Justine. Yeah, see you, bye. Any news? Yeah, that was Kyle's mum. He's been around there for a bit. He's on his way back now. It's all right, then. Yeah, if he is on his way back, he's still not picking up. Oh! Have a nice time, did we? Yeah, it was all right, actually. Well, you should have let your mum know where you were. Well, I texted earlier on. My phone died. Yeah, well, you shouldn't have been there. We'll talk about this when we get home. Whatever. See you at footy tomorrow, yeah? I think that's a conversation you should be having with your mum. Well, I'll see you later. Yeah, see you. Thanks for today. Oh, and uh, don't forget to change that dressing on your leg. Did you have your tea at Kyle's? How did you know I was at Kyle's? Because I found his mum. I found all your mates' mums. They're going to think I'm some sort of daft kid. You are a daft kid. I needed to know where you were. What, every minute of every single day? Simon, I needed to know you were safe. Oh, and by the way, them football boots, I've sent them back. Eh? Well, if you can't be bothered waiting in for them, you obviously don't need them, do you? Sorry about your leg. Yeah, so you should be. Does it hurt? What do you think? Never told Zidane, did you? No, I didn't. I didn't tell anybody. And I won't. I'm dead sorry. I don't know why I did it. I know you should never hit girls. You should never hit anybody. Yeah, but it's only cowards that hate girls. That's what my dad said. So why did you do it then? I don't know. I just get so angry sometimes. I don't know why I did it. You don't hate me, do you? Of course I don't hate you. But you know what, Sai? I have had it up to here with all this. He's got to stop. Listen, we're going to have our disagreements. Of course we are. It's only natural. Blimey, you should have heard the way me and Janice used to go at it sometimes. But you never hit her. Right, listen. You and me, clean slate, yeah? I know I'm always 
banging on about you going out and about and doing stuff. So I'll tell you what. Why don't you, I don't know, invite a few of your mates round to the bistro tomorrow, yeah? Burgers on me. Really? Yeah. What's the point of working in a bistro if you can't use and abuse it sometimes? Hmm? Thanks, Mum. Is it okay? Yeah, yeah, it's fine. I've got another reply. Oh, yeah, who from? Ad, the goalie. Oh, he's wicked. Wait till you meet him. He trains with county under 13s. He's an amazing shot stopper. Can I tell him he can come? Oh, right. How many does that make then? Well, Josh, Miles, Jamie, Finn, Kai, and Ad. That makes six. He said I can have up to 12. Yeah, well, okay, as long as you don't get too rowdy. Oh, we won't. I mean it. I want you all on your best behaviour. Do you know what, though? I'm really looking forward to meeting them all. I think it'll be good for you, this footy thing. Right. We'll go and text Adam. Hey, what we got? Three tables of four, one table of six. I told you there'd be a buzz once word gets round about my cooking. <laughs> God, you love yourself. Oh, no, this Mr. Simonson, he might be a reviewer. Oh, it's not Mr. Simonson, it's Simon, my son. He's been getting his new football team, said they could come here after training. Think you can handle that one, Chef? <laughs> oh. Hi, Zidane. Yeah, All right, lads. <laughs> Hi, Simon's mum. Hi. This your restaurant, nice one. So how did training go then? Yeah, we had a practice match, bibs versus non-bibs, and I was on bibs and we won 13-8. Ugh, I love footy. Yeah? Yeah, I was in the team, went the field on the 14 girls, and we won the league three times. Right, lads, do you want to go sit down? Hey, Kai over here. Sly's obsessed with Kyle. Oh, yeah, I know. Doesn't stop talking about him. He's got a good left leg, actually. I was a lefty. I played in defence. I was famed for my grinding tackles on my big girl. Right, listen, don't let him order too many drinks. I'm picking up the tab. Oh, and I thought we'd just give him burgers. Burgers? What am I meant to do, my 12-hour braised pork belly? Oh, that'll go down the storm with the punters. A gang of kids? That'd be great for the ambience, that will. Well, people will just know that we're lively and family-friendly. I'm winding you up. I'm brilliant at burgers. Uh, you're in a good mood. Let's put that smile on your face. Nothing. I just love making burgers. Lemonade? Here, thanks. Thanks. So nice. Dead polite. Especially Simon. No, oh, he has his moments. Ten years training for burger and chips. You know, you guys should be rehydrating, not going for sugar rush. That's right. Lemonade's full of water. So it's Coke. <sighs> what you eat and drink affects how you perform. Did you see that scissor kick I did? I'm super thick. Scissor kick? Look, you keep the ball on deck, you pass it. Yeah, like Simon does. Me. Hey, I held the record for keep your fees. Uh, right, I'm off to work. I'll see you in a bit, lads. Hi, <laughs> <Right>, get a cloth. <laughs> so, Good lads. Thanks, Steph. Can we have some tomato sauce, please? Yeah. You a gamer? I'm a massive gamer. Oh yeah. What you play? Tanky Online, Minecraft. You? Uh, I play Far Cry 4, Halo, COD, GTA. Aren't they 18s? Yeah. If you never played an 18. Yeah, loads of times. The other night, I sat up till two in the morning, playing COD, doing these awesome shots. Awesome. Is that a game? It's not a game, it's a drink. Tequila shots. I probably will mush the next day. I like vodka best. Oh, yeah. Could you get us some? Maybe. I mean, nick it. Get us some vodka, we'll pour it in our drinks. If you're scared. I'm not scared, I've had vodka loads of times. Yeah? Yeah? Go on, then. You're on. Right, lads, here's your ketchup. Mum? Yeah, everything all right? Tastes raw in the middle. It can't be raw. <sighs> Now's your chance. Simon said it's raw. Of course it's not raw. Oh, do you know, I thought he was winding me up. They're getting a bit boisterous out there. Wow, put me that fast on the pitch. Right, chef says it's fine. Stop mucking about. They do. Sorry. Uh, can we have some more mayo, please? Yeah. Thanks. Did it open then? Hey, 
My mum drinks this at home. It's dead expensive. And me. Me, me. Just looks like normal lemonade. Cheers. Just like normal Coke. the Gazette, two for lunchtime. Yes. Well, there's a bit of a story with this because I kept the Gazette because of the coupon. When I come to cut it out, it had gone. Mm. Norris had taken it. No. <laughs> yes. But I found it in a drawer in the back, so I swiped it. <laughs> you reclaimed it, Rita. I couldn't enjoy my sticky toffee pudding if I felt I'd stolen it. <laughs> <laughs> you want to take a seat, ladies? Oh, oh the special of the day is pork belly. Oh, does it have crackling? Oh, I'm not sure. Only I don't want to break a tooth. Pipe <laughs> down, lads. There are other people here, you know. <laughs> I'm really sorry about that. He's just joined a new footy team. They're his new friends. It was good as gold to start off with, but we're getting a bit rowdy. <laughs> What's going to on? Oh, they're just being lads. I'm just glad it's not our side for a change. Oh, it's not very nice in the other diners, is it? <laughs> How's your belly pork? Divine. Very good, the new chef. Thank you, ladies. Uh, right, let's do a break. Look, those two ladies can't hear themselves speak. Tell them to put the hearing aids in. <laughs> right, that's enough. Is this how you normally behave? Because if it is, you won't be coming back here again in a hurry. Now, I'm disappointed in you, Simon. I thought this was too good to be true. Are you listening? Uh, sit down. I feel sick. Simon! Have you been drinking? Uh. Have you? You have, haven't you? Haven't you? Right, where is it? Where'd you get it from? Well, come on! I can search for it myself or I can phone the police and they can search for it. Vodka. You've been drinking vodka. Not just any old vodka, the best stuff we've got. You know, if the police find out about this, we could be closed down permanently like a shop. Where'd you get your hands on it? S Simon got it for us. He said it was no big deal. Is this true? You've been playing your mates with a 50 quid bottle of vodka? We, we, we were just... You were just drinking. You were just drinking. We could all be down at casualty by now. Right, I'm phoning your parents. I'm really sorry about this, ladies. Right, you own oh, now. No arguments. Oh. Go to me, room. No, you won't. You'll sit there and you'll tell me what the hell you think you're playing at. Sit down. And you can switch that off. It isn't on. There's going to be no phones, no screens, nothing. Not after this. You know, I really thought things had changed, that we turned a corner. I really went out on a limb for you today. I trusted you and you threw it all back in me face. Well, there's going to be no more treats and you can say goodbye to football and all. Do you want to have a listen to my side of the story? Simon, you were drunk! It was all Kyle's fault. Oh, right, it was Kyle's fault. Because normally you're so well behaved, aren't you? You know, if there's one 12-year-old boy who knows how stupid it is to abuse alcohol, it's you. Like father, like son. I'm not saying that. I'm saying that you should know better. If you don't want to listen to me, there's no point. Is this Simon, stop I'm not going finished. On. Sit down. Shut up! Simon, I have had enough. This is unbearable. I'm going to have to speak to somebody about you. Oh, God. I'd much rather be in care than be with you. Look, I can only apologise again. Well, it wasn't just Simon, was it? No, no, you're right. It's my restaurant. Yeah, well, don't worry, because he won't be coming to football training again. Bye. Have you got any paracetamol? Have you any idea how many parents I've had on the phone already this morning? 
If one of them phones the police, the bistro could be shut down. I'll lose my job. Nick loses his license. Sorry. Yeah, you keep saying you're sorry, Simon, but your behaviour doesn't change, does it? I'm not like my dad. I'm not drinking again, I swear. I'm not just talking about the drinking. I'm sorry about all of it, OK? I'll get you some orange juice. Your dad used to swear by it, Frank Owens. Did you mean about football? Yep. But Mom... Simon, it's not for discussion. I've said I'm sorry. Get it. I hear about Simon drinking. Oh, who told you that? Ruth had just mentioned it. Why is it any of her business? Well, she assumed that I knew she wasn't gossiping. Oh, really? So it's true then? Oh, look, it was just a mistake now to panic about. If Simon's drinking, it's a cause for concern. Uh, Ken, I'm not an idiot. I do know that Simon's been through a lot lately, and I know who his dad is. I'm not unaware that there are risks. Yeah, of course. Look, he was just showing off in front of his footy mates. I've dealt with it, it's all sorted now. So you think it was just a one off? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. He's all right, though, generally. Yeah, he's fine. And you? Yeah, yeah, we're both fine. Simon, your lunch is ready. What do you think you're playing at? What's it look like? Shut the door. What's for it? Uh, no, you are not. Oh, it's not fair. No, we have discussed this. Get to your room. Get off I me. I said get to your room. Get off me. Simon. Simon, get off me. Good. Get off. Ah. Oh. oh, Si, I'm really sorry. I didn't mean it. Did you do it to get your own back? No, of course I didn't. Go, put your arm up. That's it, that's it. Goodbye. Oh, Si, why did you have to push me like that? It really, really hurts, Mum. I think we're going to need to get this looked at, right? Come on. Stand up. Come on. She's ready. What do you think you're playing at? What's it look like? Shut the door. What's it for you? Uh, no, you are not. Oh, it's not fair. No, we have discussed this. Get to your room. Get off me. I said get to your room. Get off me. Simon. Simon, get off me. Get off me. Good. Get off Ah. Ah. Oh, Si, I'm really sorry. I didn't mean it. Did you do it to get your own back? No, of course I didn't. Go, put your arm up. That's it, that's it. Goodbye. Oh, Si, why did you have to push me like that? It really, really hurts, Mum. I think we're going to need to get this looked at, right? Come on. Stand up. Come on. Oh, my heck. What's happened? Oh, he's cut his arm. Hey, it looks nasty, that. Uh, yeah, I'm just taking him to the medical centre now. Is there anything I can do? No, it's all right, Rita. We'll be fine, thanks. Let me know how he is. How is he? He needs a couple of stitches. Oh, God. We'll use butterfly ones. They're less painful. Can I go into him? He's asked if you'll wait out here. Oh, right, why? I think he just wants to show you how brave he is. Right. And he is. It must have been a nasty fall. Look, these things happen. There's no permanent damage, I'm sure. Oh, Rita. Oh, Ken. Okay. I've uh, had a word with Leanne about Simon. I mean, she's convinced it's a one-off. Oh, God. Ah, and now he's hurt his arm, poor lamb. What? Well, they were on the way to the medical centre, about an hour since. Look pretty nasty. Is, what is going on? Oh, Leanne had everything under control. Oh, I reckon I'm in for a batter's be earful. Better give us a top-up. Rita said Simon's hurt his arm. Oh, do you know what? That woman needs to stop sticking her nose in. Is it true? What happened? Don't tell me he's been drinking again. No, no. And what? What exactly is going on? Oh, Ken. What is it, Leah? Talk to me. All stitched up and ready to go. 
granddad? He was very brave, though I don't think we're playing football anytime soon. He was telling me all about it. Well, that's what I played a bit. OK, well, uh, let's go back to number one and I'll make a brew. Is that what you want to do, say? Si? Don't mind. I insist. Come on. Thank you. Thanks. And uh, we'll get a cake on the way, shall we? Or maybe some of those biscuits that you like. Go. Not a lot, but chocolate and cream can't cure. <laughs> ah, don't give me that look. So, what's going on? I know about yesterday, Simon, the drinking. I didn't tell him. Rita did. Yeah, and I've said I'm sorry. Yeah, he did, and I think he meant it. And uh, what about this arm? How did this happen? I fell. I think maybe we should tell Grandad the truth. Please. <sighs> Leanne, whatever's going on, I want to know. Has one of the boys at football been picking no. up? Look, if someone has, it's important that you tell us. We can't help you if you don't. No. Simon, come and sit down, please. Why? Because Grandad's asking you a question. And maybe if you and me and Grandad sit... It's got nothing to do with him. I care about you, that's all. I want to talk to my mum. Yeah, but if the three of us sit down... <sighs> tell him to go. Don't be rude to Grandad. I want to talk to you. Oh, it's OK. No, it's fine. You talk to your mum. I'll nip out with Eccles. And, um, you can talk to me as well, you know. And I understand how hard it's been for you with Cal and Grandma. OK. Come on, Eccles. Sorry. I really think we need to tell Grandad what's been going on. So you'll hate me. No, you can't say anything, ever. Yeah. Listen, you're not a little kid anymore. And when you get angry and out of control, well, we know what can happen, don't we? Can you imagine how awful I felt hurting you? It's all my fault. No, Sai, I'm not saying that. But this can't keep happening. You're going to tell Grandad? Well, I think if we sit down and tell him the truth, no. maybe he can help. Sai, listen, when you get angry, Mom, it really upsets me. me. Please. Simon, I don't promise want to Promise me you won't say anything. Please say it. <sighs> OK. OK. I promise you. But you've got to promise me something and all, OK? Shall I go away again? No, no. Come in. <laughs> <laughs> Eccles was pulling for home. Tea time. I think she takes after Blanche. You can get a snack every two hours. She's grumpy. <laughs> Yeah. Everything OK? I was being stupid, messing about on the table, and I fell. So I didn't want Mum to say it. Cos I was stupid, wasn't I? Well, we all do daft things sometimes. Can we just forget it now? Yeah, but next time, Simon, tell me, then I won't worry. It's always better to be honest. Yeah, sorry. I am sorry. Oh, no! Wouldn't you be better kicking a ball about? <sighs> Smash them up. Not in here, you numpty. <laughs> Sit down. What? Hey. Can I leave some flyers? Hey, what's going on here? Uh, yeah, yeah, just stick them on the shelf by the box. Health and fitness check. I don't think you'd pass it. What does it hurt if I do this? Oh, careful, ah. careful. Six stitches. Yeah, well, they should have put them in here. Hey, careful, you. How have you done it? I fell. Oh, man, you've got to come with something better than that. What do you mean? All stitched up. I'd be talking hostage situations and helicopter rescues. <laughs> I fell over hostage trying to get to the helicopter. Now, come and take the fitness test. You can be my guinea pig. Unless they didn't take your heart out, did they? Mm, no. Right, well, let's measure your heart rate. Have you got any blood left? Not much. Enough to take a blood pressure reading? Don't know. Can I always say more? Oh, I think the sedan's probably busy right now. Oh, half an hour. Tops. Oh, all right, then. Half an hour. But you need to come back for your tea. We'll have it here. Send him back if he doesn't behave himself.
right then. Ever snogged a girl? Of course. Boom, lie, one to me. No, it's not. Ah, uh, your heart rate went up, it's a lie. I was remembering the snog, mate. Psh, yeah, right, good answer. Ever nicked out? No. Boom. Right, come on, you, half an hour, I said. I got one stick to bag of crisps off, Rita. Oh, did you know? When? It's a lie detector test. Oh, well, here we go, the one we've all been waiting for. Why don't you tell your mum how you really did your army? <sighs> Failed already. Wow, look at his heart rate. <laughs> Sitting all day that have fallen down a riverbank. And you forgot the puppy? Sorry, two minutes. Stay here. Well, you're not tea yet. So? So? So what? Well, so is your dance working. So? Oh, Cy, si, come on. Get off. Sorry. Right, you do it then. <sighs> you forgot that you've wrecked me on, did you? I forgot our conversation, did you? Fine, I'm coming. Right, well, come on then. Get off. Oi, oi, oi. Careful with that gear. What's up? Oh, wait, it's just tea time, that's all. Well, you've got to have fuel in the tank to build muscles. Them old ladies down riverbanks can be heavy. Is he all right? Yeah, yeah, I think his arm's just hurting him a bit, that's all. Right, thanks, see. See ya. See you later. Wait for me. You getting so angry so soon after our conversation. I just didn't want to eat the bistro, that's all. You know, I'm wondering whether we should have told you, Grandad. But I've said I'm sorry. It wasn't a big kickoff, was it? Well, it felt like that's the way it was heading. But it didn't. I'm trying to be better. You've got to give me a chance. We'll eat at the bistro if we have to. Well, I'll tell you what, we'll make a deal. We'll eat here, but you've got to set the table and then clear up. Be okay. We'll be okay.